<laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, YouTube. Okay, no big introductions, but names real quick. David Kimball. Maisie Reed. Bob Langford. Malcolm LeCompte. Leroy Lucas. Davina Hughes. Bang. You, know? sure. oh. you never know who's going to walk down the street. Don't worry about that crowd down there. Well, They're yeah, church people. No, no, no. Well, I tell you, that's much better than I thought. I thought you just dragged it across the ground like a kid's sled, kind of. It kinda. actually does drag. Does it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's got, the way it's mounted, it, it, it moves up and down in the mounts and drags across the ground. If it was a bigger... If okay, it a so it's got a suspension? Well, not a suspension. It just has... It's free play, free play in the mount. Okay. So when you, when you hit bumps, the machine actually does drag on the ground. Okay. And y'all had some trouble with this device last time, right? Yeah, it uh, power supply. Power supply? Uh, blew out. So. Uh huh. It looked like it gave a good clear reading, though. It did, up until the point it blew yeah. out. But we didn't have the settings as well as we have now. We, thanks to uh, David, we got a calibration we didn't have before. So, some more new signs. Brand okay. new signs. Describe that to me. <laughs> David. Mm -hmm. So that was a big help in establishing the dielectric constant for the, for the year. A dielectric constant. That tells you how the material behaves with, regard mm -hmm. with, with respect to the electromagnetic wave that penetrates the soil. Mm -hmm. It tells you how, how fast the uh, the wave, how fast the energy travels through the soil. In order to know how deep it is, you need to know how fast the wave, how fast the energy travels into the soil. Mm -hmm. So this travels through the soil. So having a good dielectric constant is is critical to. Establishing a decent strate strate stratigraphic profile. Royalties of one hundred thousand dollars per use. <laughs> it is copyright. That's copyright. Okay. Okay. C in a circle. It, yeah, okay. Target there. Surface down. It's upside, upside down, Dave. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that will confuse those who want to exploit or pirate okay. the work. Like the medical sure. shows where they're reading the X-rays upside down. <laughs> This, this is the target, the, the shallow target, deep target. Deep target was in the water, we couldn't see it. Shallow target came in strong, we got a good a good dielectric constant based on the distance that we knew it was. Okay. Are you so, showing the water? This right here. Are y'all showing the water at the bottom? Um, you can kind of see it. It, it fades okay. out, basically it fades can out. Can you see the Black Creek formation? You don't know yet, that's what we're looking for. Well, not really. Right now, I don't think we can see the Black Creek formation, so we're just gonna Okay. See what stratigraphy we can see. Okay, gotcha. So that should mirror whatever's below it. And that's one of the things that'll tell us something about how this thing has evolved. Is what Oops, hold it. Short description of the transect. You want to give one? Uh, it's hard to tell at this point. But just taking it back and just looking at it in more detail, changing the gain so we can bring up things that are weak or tone down things that are strong. But we got a lot of features down at about the one and a half meter level. Uh, other than that, pretty flat with an occasional uh, trend either downward or upward. So it's like a. And we're totally within the interior of the bay. Totally in the interior of the bay. So there are no inner rims, it doesn't seem? Doesn't seem like it. No. Inner buried rims? Uh, it's hard to say. Yeah. Maybe just... just yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, this is way preliminary.
What you think of this? What's that? Is it hard to roll? No, it's easy to roll. You seeing anything down there? Yes. Are you? <laughs> Buried Indians or anything? Okay, let's see that. Um, um, whoa, GPS, Bob. Ooh, look at that. GPS. What'd you say? There's a whole lot of bright spots here. Uh huh. A whole lot of activity going on. Mm hmm. Okay. It's number 15. Mm hmm. North 34.98186. 98186. Mm -hmm. West 078.77366. Seven, seven, six, six. Elevation is 136. Have we found markers in Kimball Bay? Mar what? Have we found impact markers in Kimball Bay? Oh, yeah. Well, and a lot of nano diamonds. What we got here is to me starting with like multiple rims. See that? So we just past this driveway, we got another. Just right before well, the driveway. And, and the driveways are going to help us mark mark the uh, progress along the road there. Too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, do you good. think being so close to the road? What were y'all doing out here? Because we were filming all the uh, ground penetrating radar, and then y'all were over here doing what? Uh, we were over here doing coring. Mm -hmm. It was actually um, digging for a sample, such uh -huh. as these, these samples right here. Great. Um, six inches yep. uh, into the ground. Mm -hmm. well, and also, you can't count the uh, the surface. Yeah. Because we counted as zero. Yeah. But um, basically, we're going down so many feet. And uh, this time we went 126. Yeah. Inches into the ground, and to strike water. But we basically like tell the difference between we were trying to look up and get clay. Yeah. But the um, you know, as you can see. Didn't turn out so well. So. <laughs> okay, Maisha, what'd y'all see when you were going down? Um, from Thanks, the, Leroy. From the surface, we, you know, got the regular sand, and the deeper we went, the more the more moisture the sand had. Uh huh. Um, it started to, you know, clunk together. You know, you like form like clay, but uh -huh. it wasn't clay. Uh huh. Um, as you got deeper and deeper, 184 um, inches down. Yeah. You see the discoloration. You see more white sand than brown sand. Yep. And. Sometimes the white sand, you know, um, was lighter than the, the more you went down. Mm -hmm. You see this start to clunk up and you can form it into some type of some type of formation, you know. And then when we got close to 108, you see the orange, um, the orange layers or the orange, you know, pieces in the sand. And orange means that the more the more you go down and the more orange you see, the more it's likely that you're closer to the water. Right. The surface. Right. So when we got to 120 um inches you see is is wet right it's like wet sand if you dig in the sand like on the beach yeah and it's a lot of moisture to it it's not clay like but it's a lot of sand with a lot of water yeah and then this was the lo the lowest we went to because after that the water wouldn't come up it yeah. would just go down and you would get nothing back into this yeah. into the um the core so uh -huh. this is the the most sand that we have with the most moisture you know water and um you know, we put the core together using these pieces. We use the shovel to, you know, knock the dirt and the grass out the way. Yeah, the we put the um, the 16 inch pipe down, and the, the lower we went down, the more we added another 16 inch pipe. And the pipe was high, real, yeah. real high in the ground. You just take it and you just turn it um, clockwise, mm -hmm. and then when you get halfway down, you'll lift it up, and then you'll just um, take the hammer and you just bang it inside the um, this little round circle with the with the bags with the labels on them and you just keep doing it until we find the dirt mm -hmm. so that's what we did okay and then and then what stopped you when you were driving out um oh got a flat tire <laughs> three flat tires three, three flat tires three, three flat tires <laughs> yep. well, on this side there's one and that's why we didn't get to see you do any more cores yeah that's, that's why i got so, a lot of pictures that's right got a lot no of video. still pictures very little video okay yeah. well we might try to work in some still pictures and uh, but y'all did a lot of hard work out there, Corin. Sweat. Um, yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Davina had it easy. She was just pushing the GPR. <laughs> and we was over there with pigs. You know, they was you know going to the bathroom. With pigs right over there. There were pigs over there. Right, right over mm -hmm. where the pigs mm -hmm. there. Rough science. But it's nature, you know. That's right. That's right. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. If it was easy being a scientist, we would all be.